Hi, Leo. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. How are you doing? Welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm here to do your next 48 reading. If it resonates with you at any time, please make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Comment the moon down below for Dream Tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days, guys. Okay, what else? Keep in mind that this is a um, general reading. It's not personal, guys. So anything I say that doesn't resonate with your story, it could also very well resonate with another Leo story. So don't be selfish. Share the message. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, guys, okay? And don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> now, if this does resonate with you and you do want to book a personal reading with me, I am doing emergency readings only at this time. That just ensures that your reading gets out to you within 24 hours. If you're interested in that, I do have different options on my website. Um, you can click the link in the description box. It'll take you there so you can check that out. If you want to shop uh, my store, I do have handmade candles. I have jewelry like what I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing your energy today, Leo. I'm wearing the Strength Card Tarot Pendant Necklace. I'm also wearing the um, Blinged Out Evil Eye Hamza Hand Necklace. I'm also wearing the <laughs> Evil Eye Hamza Hand um, Tiger's Eye Chakra Bracelet and also the one in Black Onyx. Okay, this one also has highlight in there. All right, so... <laughs> We're going to get started with your reading. Oh, that link for my products um, in my store, that's the first link in the description box for you, okay? All right, we're going to get started with your reading. We're going to get started. Let's get some advice for you for the next 48 hours. All right, give me some cards, please, Spirit. Give me some cards for Leo for the next 48 hours. What's going on with them? Give me some advice, please. All right, give me some advice for my Leos, please. We can fuss and we can fight as long as everything's alright between us. All right, first message says "fuck out of here." <laughs> Okay, and then the song playing for you is Mad by Neo. But if you know this song, it's like you're mad for nothing. You and like it could start off like when you're in the moment, you're mad, you know? But when you look back at it, it was like really nothing. It was all being mad for no nothing. Well, anyway, this card says this is your mantra today. Say it in a New Jersey accent to add emphasis. If bullshit shows up, give it a fuck out of here and send it on its way. They should probably be a silent mantra at work, in school, and pretty much anywhere in public. But it's still fucking effective even when you keep it all to yourself, okay? So if bullshit comes to your doorstep, fuck out of here, okay? Period. This says stay away from people who make you feel like you're hard to love, Leo, okay? Hmm. All right, so let's see. Um, it says, even if you acted like a big old asshole, you still deserve to be around people who see the goodness in you and point it out. If they find you hard to love, they ain't your people. Extra credit. Someone pointing out that you've acted like an asshole doesn't mean they don't love you. Figure out if you're getting tough love or no love. You'll be less of an asshole when you learn this, okay? So that's another message for you, Leo. All right, so let's see what's going on my Leos. Let's see what's going on for you guys. I also just did a um, a short reading for you on Instagram. So if you have Instagram and you want to check that out, that link is in the description box, okay? All right, so let's see. So give me some messages, please, for my Leos. What's going on with them for the next 48 hours? What's their energy? Give me some cards, please, for my Leos, my kings and my queens. What's going on with my kings and queens right now? What's with their energy? Give me some cards, please. Let's see, Leo. Let's see. The full card, the king of cups, okay? Hmm, what else? The world card, interesting. And the emperor's on the bottom. What's under the emperor? The knight of wands. Some of you guys are dealing with the Aries, okay? But I see that some of you guys really acted impulsively or risky with the full card. It could be dealing with the Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Capricorn, okay? Doesn't have to be any of those signs. This is just simply your energy. I see that you're going to do something impulsively. And I don't know. It's something here. Let me see what's going on. A lot of you guys, too, with the King of Cups are tired of playing both roles in a relationship. You feel like you play the masculine role and the feminine role in your relationship. If you're in a relationship or in your situationship or with your homeboy, homegirl, you just feel like you're playing both roles all the time. You're tired of it. You're tired of it. I see that you're sick and tired of it. What's the full card? Let's get into this. What's the full card here? What's the full card? All 
All right, the Four of Cups. Okay, so you know not to do something, Leo, and you're still gonna do it anyway, just for instant gratification, I see. Like, you're tired of playing the safe route all the time. You're tired of being the one who always, you know, gets the short end of the stick because you don't go after your pleasures or what you want to happen. You're tired of saving people. It's like something like that here. So it looks like you just go ahead and do something very risky but you don't give a fuck you don't give a damn the four of cups you feel like you deserve this what's the fool card you could also be ignoring the aquarius right now mm, the two of swords you don't care what anyone says you're gonna do, go for it you don't care okay let's see what's going on what's the four of cups the world card is coming the fool card is coming on the bottom again and the world card is here so it's like no more mrs nice guy or no more mr nice guy Sorry, no more Mrs. Nice Girl, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm getting what's the four of cups? Or you're tired of letting your feelings get in the way? Yeah, the lovers. Mm. So you're ignoring a lover right now? You're ignoring a Gemini, Aquarius, or you're just ignoring your something. Let's see, what's the lovers? What's going on here? King of Swords and Aquarius? <laughs> okay. Or you're just being very cold towards your lover right now, but you don't care. You feel like someone is not seeing your needs. I feel like you feel like your needs are not being met in your relationship right now. What's the two of swords? So you're not talking to this person. You'd rather just be left alone. King of Cups is coming out again. Could be a Pisces is what I'm hearing as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Hmm. It's like you're ignoring someone so they can get, get it. But you know by not communicating with someone? Okay, so I'm really hearing that you've been communicating with this person. They just don't get it. But you not communicating is not going to help either. Okay, so I just did your reading on Instagram. I won't spoil it for you guys. But it's about knowing your audience, knowing people's communication styles. So, but, you know, even though someone may have a different communication style than you, Leo, it still doesn't mean not to communicate. That's not going to make anything effective. What's the King of Cups here? It's like you're tired of opening your mouth or saying the same shit over and over again. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. You want someone to give more out of a relationship, either their emotions or financially or just, you know, be there for you. More attention even with the Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups. Like, you know someone loves you, but you feel like they don't pay attention to you. You feel like someone doesn't know you, Leo. I feel like you've been feeling this way for a long time. Like, you feel like someone doesn't know you or doesn't know what makes you tick. Like... It's like, okay, whoever you're dealing with, you know what they like. You know what they like to receive in gifts. You know their love language. But someone still doesn't get that about you. And it's kind of making you a little pissed off. So you're. it looks like you're going to go do something and you don't care. The, the fool card. What is Leo about to go do? That's what I want to know. What are you about to go do? Nine of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords. Okay, so Leo, some of you guys are looking to step out on this person or even if you're not even like exclusive with this person, you've been thinking about being single secretly or you've been thinking about dealing with other people. Like you're starting to eye other people, okay? What's the King of Cups? What's the King of Cups here? Six of Swords. Okay, hmm. Interesting, what else? The Two of Pentacles. All right. So it's like after you do that, you feel okay, but then you're like thinking like, is it worth it to heal things with this person or just move forward? Because you feel like you know the truth about someone with the King of Cups. What's the Two of Pentacles? Ten of Swords. Wow. So you're like, any decision I make, whether to stay with this person or to leave them, I'm still going to be in pain either way. I'm going to be pain in pain if I... If things, if I break up with this person, but I'm also going to be in pain if I stay. Some of you guys feel like all there's only fighting right now between you and this person with the five of swords, three of swords on the bottom. So you feel like either way you go, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just feel like you're going to be in, you're going to be hurt. If you move forward, you're going to miss them. You're going to feel heartbroken. If you stay with them, you're going to despise them and feel heartbroken. What's the six of swords? Damn. That's a tough cookie right there, right? That's a tough pill to swallow. What's the six of swords? So the king of wands so some of you guys are just focusing on yourselves some of you guys are choosing to stay in this situation but just focusing on yourselves focusing you know some of you guys also are choosing to be the leader in this situation the king of wands so i feel like you know it's kind of like i'm gonna work on myself hopefully this person follows 
Okay, yeah, the three of wands. Hopefully this person follows behind. You hope that they, they get they get it. Okay, but some of you guys are not communicating this to this person. Yeah, the three of pentacles. What's the three of pentacles here? You're hoping that this person works with you to make things better. What's the three of pentacles? Five of swords in reverse. You feel like it's no use in communicating with someone because it always ends up in a fight and still nothing is solved between you and this person. Then you guys end up not speaking to one another. King of Wands, please. So you and somebody have very bad communication styles. Like you guys don't have the same communication style. Or it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's a very stress, stressful um, relationship. What's the King of Wands? This could be with your family member. It doesn't have to be with a lover. This could be like a family member like your mom or even your dad. It's like this person doesn't budge. Let's see what else is here. Queen of Swords, yeah. In doing so, though, in doing so and leaving this person behind, you are becoming a little cold, I have to say. But you feel like this is the only option and you really don't care the full card. Like, you don't care. Like, you're like, listen, this is, I have to give this person tough love because if not, they're not going to learn. So I understand that. But I still feel like there could be a better way to approach this. I don't know, Leo. What's the world card? What's the world card? The justice, okay? And what else? Looks like, you know what, though? The hangman. What's the justice card? The will of fortune. What's the hangman? Ten of wands and the nine of cups. The full card. I feel like you doing this instant gratification thing where you're like, okay, I'm just going to move forward or do me or date other people. In, in the meantime, while this person gets their shit together, the will of fortune of justice, it's still going to keep you stuck, the hangman. So I'm like, I don't know if this is the best way to go about things. It might make you feel good right now, but later, I don't think so. And I think you know that you're working off impulses. Some of you guys are just so stressed out by this, you can't take it anymore. You just need to do something. Why the Ten of Wands? Yeah, some of you guys are stressed out in a relationship or just in your home life. Like I said, this doesn't have to be um, a relationship or a lover's situation. This could be like you with your roommate. They don't get it. Or people that you live with, your family members, they just don't get it. And it looks like you're being a little selfish, but you feel like you deserve it, okay? So what's the will of fortune with the justice? I feel like over time, things will work out. Um but you're just you're wanting this shit to happen like today like you wish somebody could just change overnight it doesn't work that way leo you know that's the sad thing about it cuz you have the devil here so i see that you're kind of like having negative thoughts about this you don't even feel like you're going to get justice with this person so you're like let me just live life how i want to it's telling you to have patience the 6 of cups and the 7 of cups you're going to get what you want but you have to have patience with this okay i really you know what honestly leo I feel like, um, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. Because I feel like some of you guys with the world card, this has been like a cycle you've been with someone before. Like you already know how this person works. And you don't feel like killing, it, killing them with kindness is going to work. You don't feel like with this King of Cups, you don't feel like you can just say, you know, come to this person in a sweet manner and things are going to change. No, you feel like tough love is your best bet. Also feel like too, some of you guys are tired of playing all the roles in your household. So if you do live with a roommate or with your family, you feel like you pick up all the slack. You're tired of that. If you're with a lover, you feel like you play the feminine role and a masculine role. You're tired of that. You're tired of it. You want, you want equal. You want a balanced um, relationship. Let's get your last words. I'm going to get into your homeboy, homegirl. Sir, give me some messages, please, for Leo. Give me some messages, please, for Leo. Last words for Leo, please. Last words for Leo. Last words for Leo. Last words for Leo.
I have no plans on changing, okay? So, Leo, that's a message for you about someone that you're dealing with. You know, you already know that, though. I feel like you know that. You know someone has no plans on changing. That's why you're not being Mrs. Nice Guy. I mean, Mrs. Nice Girl, Mr. Nice Guy with them anymore. You feel like you, tough love is the way to do it. But still, like I say, you not communicating with someone or you being really tough on someone with someone who doesn't want to change is not going to work. So why put yourself in that kind of like, you know, <sighs> why put yourself in that kind of um, space where you get yourself all worked up? You know, it's kind of better to just drop it at that point. Depression. Some of you guys are going through a depression right now and you just want someone to be there for you. But you you have to, you know, you have all these roles that you play in this situation. It's like someone doesn't get it. Also get I told you, like someone doesn't get you, Leo, even after all this time being with you or being around you. Someone doesn't get how to make you smile. Not that that's their job, but I feel like you go out your way to make people smile and you go out your way to give people wonderful, thoughtful gifts. It's like even for your birthday, like someone probably didn't even give you a thoughtful gift. You're like, do you, you've been, it's like someone doesn't get it. And you're like, listen, I'm not that hard to please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because I think your person would beg to differ, right? But I feel like you have verbatim told people like what you want, what you like, and it's like getting annoying now, right? That they just don't get it. Hiding your feelings. Some of you guys have been keeping this hidden for a long time and now you just can't hold it back anymore. You just, you're just, you know, I hope you're not raging, but I feel like you're just over it. I love how you laugh, okay? So you could love how someone laughs. Someone could love your laugh, Leo. You could have a really nice, beautiful laugh. Um, I'm not letting this go, okay? So you could still choose not to let this go with this person, even though you're getting sick and tired. They could also not want to let you go, okay? You could have blocked this person. I feel that heavily. Someone could be blocked right now. Or you're blocking out this person. I'm pregnant. Surprise. Some of you Leos could be pregnant, okay? Um, or be very fertile around this time. Or someone you know around you could be pregnant, and that's a surprise. All right, what else is here? Movie night, Netflix, and chill. So you could literally um, be having a little, you know, movie night, a Netflix and chill kind of situation with someone coming up. Childhood trauma, okay? You could have childhood trauma that kind of makes you feel like you've dealt with this all the time. Like maybe your parents didn't really understand you even growing up and you're like, I'm just so tired of these cycles with people. Um, you could be dealing with someone who has childhood trauma. What else is here? Trust issues. Yeah. Trust issues. You can have trust issues right now. This is why you're not willing to um, beat around the bush with someone or you're not willing to try to work things out smoothly. You just feel like, nope, I, I, I know when I know and I know that this is not it. And gay. I could have some Leos who are in a same-sex relationship. There could be someone around you who is in a same-sex relationship that's significant. And if this is not your story, don't take it, okay? All right, so let's move into your homeboy, homegirl, Leo. Let me play some music because my playlist stopped. All right, come and see me. So whoever this is wants you to come see them, even though you might not really want to come see them. This could be someone else too because I did get that energy where you may be looking at other people, okay? So let's see what's going on with my Leos. Give me, let me see what's going on with my Leos. What's going on with my Leos, please? Oh, sorry. What's going on with my Leo's homeboy, homegirl? Sorry, so many things keep come, popping up on my screen, distracting me. What's going on my Leo's homeboy, homegirl? What's their energy for the next 48 hours? What's going on with them? Give me some cards, please. What's going on my Leo's homeboy, homegirl? Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. Someone is not confident. Whoever you're dealing with, someone's not confident, Leo. Okay? I just have to say that. Someone could be intimidated. Queen of Pentacles as well. Okay? Hmm. It's like someone is almost not even confident to know their worth. Like, you know someone's worth, they don't. You feel like someone's potential is really unlimited. They don't understand that or they don't know that. It can be frustrating. It can be frustrating. Let me tell you why it could be frustrating for you. It could be frustrating for you because, you know, you always have to make this person feel confident to do things. And it's like, I... But I'm there, I'm here for you to do that. But at the same time, I'm, I don't know. I feel like at the same time, you're just like, I got to do that for myself too. And how, when do I have time to do that for myself if I'm always doing that for you? Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Pentacles is here. 
the world card is out again on the same energy that yours like the last card like yours did yours had excuse me the moon card is on the bottom so something is going to be illuminated very soon like you're going to be finding out something about this person very soon or you already know but i feel like something is coming very soon okay let me see what's the queen of wands in reverse for this person The strength card, yeah. I told you, like, someone is just not that confident, okay? Just not that confident. Someone also feels like they're not, they can't, I don't, hmm. Strength card. The three of cups, okay? Interesting. So someone is not, if you and this person are in separation, Leo, it's kind of like they want to reconcile with you. But they're holding back because they feel like maybe you may reject them, okay? They're really in their head about this. And that's what's making it so slow for them to come towards you. What else with the Queen of Wands in reverse? The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for this person. The Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to speak to you and ask if you just want to be single. Like someone knows that from you. They can tell that you just want to be single or you just don't want to be in a relationship or commitment right now. What's the Three of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords in reverse? They feel like they can't even change your mind, okay? So somebody's really nervous to even speak to you. They feel like you have your mind made up about being single. What's the Queen of Pentacles? The Ace of Cups, okay. Hmm. Somebody sees your worth, Leo. They, they know your worth, okay? But I wonder if this person knows their worth because the Ace of Cups is here. This is why they love you. They feel like you are so special and one of a kind. What else is here? The four swords in reverse. They want to come back together. They're tired of being, you know, separated from you. What's the four of swords in reverse? They want a better connection. They feel like you've been pulling back your energy from them, the high priestess. You haven't really been in this connection. What's the ace of cups, please? The seven of pentacles. Somebody feels like they can't give you what you're asking for right now, okay? Even if you feel like this person can, it's like they drag it out, okay? They drag it out. I don't know why. What's the Seven of Pentacles? You could also be pregnant by this person or they could be pregnant by you and it's like they know you don't want to be with them. All right, the Sun card. Hmm. Someone's dragging out their potential. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they're just like um, insecure maybe a little bit or it's just the fact that they don't want to with the high priestess. All right, so it stresses them out that there's not enough like um, communication right now between you guys. That's, that's you know, number one here. And they just feel like you are looking for happiness on your own, not within them anymore, which is always great to have happiness on your own. But for some reason, this person feels like it's just not coming together. They feel like you guys argue. They feel like you win the argument at all times, okay? They feel that way. They want to heal things with you, but they feel like you're happier on your own or you're just over it. And it makes them a little intimidated to come towards you. What's the world card? I feel like when you curse this person out, Leo, you really go in on them. And that's really like, you know, really makes us, it really puts a damper on their self-esteem. What's the world card? The two of wands. Somebody wants to take action before you close the cycle out on them. Okay, they want to heal things. What's the two of wands? So... Two of Wands is the King of Wands, okay? So somebody wants to show you that they can be a leader. I think you're just looking for that in someone. Leo, you're looking for someone who's a leader. If you're a feminine, most likely you are the masculine in your relationship and you want this person to pick up those roles. You're tired of playing both. And if you're a, a masculine Leo watching me who's into um, feminine energy, it's kind of like you just want this feminine energy to be a go-getter nonetheless, okay? that's where this person knows like the ten of cups you know they know that that's what you're looking for i feel like this person could feel like oh maybe leo doesn't want to settle down right now i feel like you would settle down with the right person leo it's just not about you not settling down you just want someone who's confident around you um so it looks like this person is looking to do that to become step into this leadership role with the king of wands Okay, sorry, this song Let Me Know by Juice World is playing. Um, the Nine of Cups is here, okay? So somebody, okay, okay, okay. 
somebody has to be happy within their selves with the, what they're doing. They have to be excited for the goals that they have to be able to be this leader. They know that. They're working on it, Knight of Pentacles, but they're not so... This could be someone who's more pessimistic than optimistic in life, and therefore they kind of manifest the things that happen to them. So it's kind of like, you know, maybe you've been just um, upgrading in your life. You know, you've been getting better job positions or you're making lots of money or you just moved into a really nice home. You just got a nice car. Like things always seem to work out for you, but that's because you have an optimistic view on life. And this person could be very pessimistic where they're overly too, they feel like they're being realistic, but they're actually doubting themselves. And it's, it's kind of like what they're um, reflecting and that's what's coming back towards them. And being with this person could be a Debbie Downer on you if you have that optimistic soul where it's like, you know, you just won't even reach for the stars and you're kind of rubbing off on me and I don't like that energy, right? What's the world card here? The Queen of Pentacles, okay? Somebody sees you as the best they ever had and that's just real, but they don't feel the same about themselves. So it's just kind of hard. The Ten of Cups, they want this... They want this forever with you, Leo, but they could be very intimidated by you. I don't know. Your confidence, of course, is just through the roof, but there's something else here why this person feels like they can't match up to your energy. Nonetheless, they do want a second chance with you. They don't want to let this go. They know you're not talking to them. They know you're a little annoyed and just, you know, fed up, but they really want to do this again. They feel like they could offer you this Ace of Pentacles if you gave them a chance. They just have to work on themselves. I see this person is trying to work on themselves, okay, with the King of Wands energy. They are trying to become that leader that you want them to be. And even for themselves, this person has to want it for themselves. This person has to get into their magician energy here of manifesting things and being optimistic about those outcomes. Someone does suffer from overthinking, and this could also be a reason why they tend to be kind of, you know, pessimistic. And it's, you know, something that they, it's a comfort thing. It's a defense mechanism. And it's kind of like, if I just expect the worst to happen and it happens, well, at least I was right. And that's not a way to go about life. That has caused this person a lot of tower moments in the past and a lot of pain and heartbreak with the, the three of swords. You know what you can tell this person if you do decide to communicate with them? Tell them that life is all about patience, okay? You know, waiting for things to come in okay so it's like even if things are not happening right before your eyes that's just reality of life that's you know we can be realistic without being pessimistic tell them just wait and have an optimistic view always think that you know you're gonna get what you deserve in life and you put in that work you know being a hard worker or just being determined giving yourself praise um you know Bigging up your self-esteem, you that's hard work too. It's like making sure that you're giving yourself affirmations every day if you care to tell them, right? So I'm going to take this to the extended reading. But before we do that, we're going to get your person's last words. I feel like you and this person could work things out, Leo. I just think that this person does put a, a damper on your energy sometimes. And that is just too much for you. You know, you want to just be happy. And it seems like when this person comes around, they always have something bad that happened to them. And they're just talking about how shit never works out for them. And it's like, I, you know, sometimes you don't want to hear that shit, okay? It's, it's like bad things happen to everyone. And it doesn't make it less hurtful. But we have to be able to shift our perception that that's not our end. That's not the end of our story, you know? We are going to have successes. We are going to have blessings. So let's see what the last words is for your person. Last words for your person. Last words for Leo's homeboy, homegirl. Last words for Leo's homeboy, homegirl, please. Last words for, for Leo's homeboy, homegirl. I think a big part of that too is like just being a, a dreamer in life and wanting more for yourself always and always believing you can have that. It's kind of like if you were to settle down with this person, would they just be okay and complacent in one air, in one space of their life that they would never want to reach for the stars? Like say you want to move to a different city, Leo, and this person is just like, oh, we can't do that. That's not going to happen. We don't have enough money for that. You don't want to hear that. You want to hear someone who's like, oh yes, let's, let's start saving now. And then by next year, we can go get that, you know, condo in the city. You know, you want someone who dreams with you and works hard to make those dreams happen. You know? Anyway, let's see what else. Let's see what's going on. Last words for Leo's homeboy, homegirl, please. Last words for Leo's homeboy, homegirl.
All right. I checked your phone. Okay, so this person could be going through your phone, Leo. Just know that. Or you check this person's phone. Blame game. Okay, so someone who doesn't take accountability. So make sure you're taking accountability for your actions. And if you have someone who it doesn't take accountability and you know they're not changing, maybe that's just not the one. Okay, um, you could be dealing with the Libran. This person can have Libra in their chart. I don't, oops. I don't like your friends slash family. They could not like your friends or your family. You could not like their friends or family, okay? That could be a big problem. Um, fake page. Somebody could be watching from a fake page, okay? What else is here? Too independent. See, someone thinks that you're too independent. Probably would rather you be a little bit more codependent and you're not ever going to be that way. I don't know any Leos who are not independent. I'm sorry. <laughs> what else is here? I miss you. Okay. What else is here? Can't sleep. Yeah, this person's having a hard time sleeping. They overthink a lot. Probably a lot at night. I'm single. Okay, so someone in you definitely broke up or said that you guys are going to be single or dating um others you left something behind you could have left something at this person's house or they could have left something at your house you could still have stuff at this person's house they could still have stuff at your house plotting against you is the seven of swords okay so this energy is not just like someone's plotting against you this could literally mean that someone is not to be trusted i feel like you're gonna i really see you learning a secret about someone or vice versa they're gonna learn secret about you like whatever's been done behind someone's back is gonna come to light okay miserable without you this person could be very miserable right now and winter this could be a winter baby a scorpio sagittarius a capricorn or something's gonna happen this winter between you and this person all right so leo i'm gonna take this to the extended reading if this resonated please thumbs up the reading comment a moon down below for dream tarot and subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days um if you want a personal reading, that information's in the description box down below. If you want to shop my store, that's going to be the first link in the description box down below. If you want to go check out that reading I did on Instagram, that link is also in the description box down below. I'll see some of you guys in your extended. And if not, I'll see you very soon um, with your new love reading if you're interested in new love and also your money reading coming out this week. I love you, Leo, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.